Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Lisa Barrow is up next with the latest motor news. Lisa? John, most car fans know the name of Carroll Shelby, but many younger ones only know him for street cars and not for the race cars that first made him famous. Well, Carroll Shelby recently left the street behind and is once again doing what many feel he does best. Carroll Shelby is building race cars again, and like its predecessors, this Shelby race car looks likely to have a big impact on the racing community. This is the Shelby Can-Am. It's the basis for the Sports Car Club of America's newest spec racing series. Spec racing means that all the cars are identical, so it's driver's skill that wins and not technology. Identical cars also means that the Can-Am series will be much less expensive than other types of racing. We're trying to give the guy that doesn't have the kind of money that it takes to get into those things a chance to move up into the club racer and the, and the pro series uh, at, a, at a reasonable cost and find out if this young man has the ability to be a race driver, maybe go on to Indianapolis cars uh, or Formula One. The Can-Am is indeed inexpensive by racing standards. 37,900 will buy the complete car, but it's a serious race machine. The modified Chrysler 3.3-liter V6 engine produces 255 horsepower. This will propel the Can-Am to a top speed of over 150 miles per hour. It's helped along by the slippery, semi-open-wheeled shape. The front wheels are partially exposed to allow the driver a better view and more precise car control, while the rear wheels are completely enclosed for safety. The steel tube frame is heavily reinforced, and crush boxes in front and in the sides provide additional crash protection. The result is a race car that is fast, safe, and reasonably priced. That's rare these days, so the Shelby Can-Am should sell very well. But it's more than just a commercial venture. It's very exciting for the simple reason that um, I get the feeling that we're putting something back into racing that's been so good to me over the years. It's also a chance to return to the roots of the Shelby legend. It, it does bring me full circle, doesn't it, from uh, the beginning in 1963, 62, similar car. Yep, brings us full circle. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. The first Shelby Can-Am should be running in regional competition by this summer. A more powerful Pro Series version will follow shortly thereafter. John?